Today, I'm going to teach you a very simple t-shirt design style and layout that does really well for print and demand and that you can replicate within a few minutes. So I'm going to use Kittle for this design because that sort of circular text layer that you saw is very easy to create within Kittle. As you're going to see, it's a lot easier than with Adobe Illustrator, for example, which is how I used to create those designs in the past. Right here on the homepage of Kittle, you need to click on new project to get started. Then you'll want to go to POD presets and select the t-shirt right here for Amazon Merch and then hit create. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to the image generator. This is essentially Kittle's built-in AI and they've just recently added the turbo mode, which is a lot faster than advanced. Uh, this is what we were using before, but you can still use advanced, but it does cost more in terms of the AI credit. So if I go to turbo right here, that only costs one, it is faster. And I've also been getting better results, at least with the t-shirt graphic style. So they still have the same styles right here, but the results look different to the advanced model, at least from my initial testing. One problem that's been working quite well for me is a vintage bison graphic set against a round vintage sunset. So obviously in this case, very simple, you can just swap out bison right here for other animals or for other subjects that you want against a vintage sunset. Let's start off with that. I've got t-shirt graphics selected. I'm going to hit generate image at the bottom. And there we go. That was super quick and easy. That looks like a really, really good graphic to have the text uh, sort of arched around the top and bottom. and it also looks a lot like a print on demand graphic that you'd see on a t-shirt or perhaps on a sticker. Uh, it looks like a little bit of a badge. So yeah, really cool. And the good thing now is we can use the built-in background remover right here. So I'll click on that first because it does still have a background. You can't really see it um, against the white. I'll change the artboard color to black actually because I want to design this for the use on black t-shirts. So there we go. The background has been removed. Now I'm going to use the image upscaler, which I think tends to get better results than their image vectorizer in certain sort of situations where the graphic is very simple not a lot of colors i think the vectorizer is going to be better or if you want to create a logo of course but here because we've got gradients as well i would prefer to use the image upscaler so now this is looking crisp uh, and it's high enough quality for printing I'm going to make this slightly bigger and then center it on the artboard like so right let's add the text so you can find the text over here on the left hand side click add headline and then it adds this small piece of text right here i'm going to just increase that text box and make the color white so we can actually see what's going on and now i'm going to click on this text and head down to the transformation and click add so the little plus symbol right here will add the transformation effects that you can choose from so we'll choose circle in this case just need to make this a bit bigger so i'll click out of this and onto it again increase the size and uh, let's actually write out some of the text that'll make things easier so um don't pet the right the actual text has to be a lot smaller here so let's change the font size to about 600 there we go and i'll also change the font to something nicer looking that actually suits this kind of topic sand creek is a font that i found before that works quite well i think the text can be a little bit bigger now with this font i'll drag a box across both of these and increase the size of them slightly and now the easy thing is in order to have the same sort of text effect along the bottom all we have to do literally is we have to click on duplicate right here then scroll down on the right hand side and click direction inverted and there we go now we just need to change the text read here so i'll put don't pet the fluffy cows click out of it just need to rearrange this slightly i'll make the graphic right here a bit smaller and there we go that is how quick and easy it is to lay out a design with this style within Kittle. An illustrator takes a lot longer. Um, so now we can also add a bit of texture to this. Uh, I think that would be quite suitable for this niche. So I'm going to click on the artboard, then head over to the uh, texture tab, which is right here. And uh, let's go with uh, one of these crack textures that tend to look quite nice. I'll change the setting right here from color burn to alpha mask. And then you just have to clip the content. And there we go. That looks really really nice um, we've got a simple easy text design which you can now also duplicate so i can click on the artboard duplicate it over onto a new artboard and then easily you know change the text right here by clicking back into these words do something like don't 
mess with. <laughs> for example, click out of it, it will apply the effect again. I know this bleeding off the edge, but it's just to demonstrate to you that you can easily now change the texture of this to something else. Another funny phrase, you can change it to a different niche as well. And then of course, amend the graphic right here with the same prompt, which you can still find in the image generator tab. So there we go. That's a really sort of quick and easy method to create some very cool looking t-shirt designs that actually sell. This is a style that I use all the time for many different niches. And yeah, Kittle makes it super easy to put it together with the help of AI and these nice transformation settings down here. And they've got a bunch of other effects as well, which I have shown up in a different video tutorial in the past. But yeah, the circle one, very, very easy and uh, very user friendly. Another style that can do super well for print on demand is the groovy text designs. And if you want to learn how to create those, make sure to check out this tutorial next.